What's up you guys? So I got a little extra time today playing with the car. I went ahead and burped the coolant today. Um, just to make sure that there's no leaks on the radiator and the heater valve. Everything is doing great. But uh, I got some time to kill today. Kind of a little slow at the shop. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the headlights, the, uh, the grill, and also the bumper lights as well as the rear lights and get ready for the new lights that are going to be coming um i have them ordered so they should be here probably within about a week or so i believe so we'll go ahead and take these ones up and just get ready for it as you can see we got that on there so i ordered the two tail lights um, just to kind of match those up so We'll pull these ones off first. They're rather simple, and uh, we'll go from there. So the ones I got come with a new wiring harness too. So you're gonna go back here and pull this wiring harness out if you if you have a new wiring harness coming with with the new lights. So you get this harness out and then split it apart, um, and then you can pull it out with the light assembly. The light assembly is really simple. I'll show you in just a minute, but there's two. You can either use you can either use a Phillips screwdriver or a 10 millimeter. Okay, so when you get this pulled out of there, there's a, a push down tab right here. But the thing is, is the uh, slide in piece is actually this little piece down here on the very edge. So when you take that out, don't pull on the wires. You want to kind of shake it back and forth until it comes free. Um, these are kind of stuck together because, of course, of age and stuff. But I already loosened mine up just kind of so I can show you. Kind of hard to do one-handed here. Let me see if I can. I can't. Hang on just a second. Okay, so I'm kind of supporting my camera stand. So if you guys fall, I apologize. But, so push this in. And then just kind of wiggle it a bit, wiggle it loose, and it'll come loose. And then don't pull on the wires because it's kind of like all you have sticking out basically, except for a very little bit of plastic. And then you can just pull the whole harness through with the light. While we're speaking of the wiring harnesses, um, I did find out that these on this back plate, these are actually supposed to be the reverse lights. So instead of wiring them into the license plate, like I said, or the running lights, I'll end up wiring them into the reverse lights. I'm going to have to figure out which wires those are. So um, I'll do some research on that, and that'll be a, a later project. But I want to let you guys know that those are actually supposed to be for the reverse lights. Okay, so for the light housing, you're going to have two 10 millimeter bolts, or you can also use a Phillips screwdriver. And then back here, you're gonna have one 10 millimeter nut. So for the nut in the back, a ratchet wrench will work great or a socket. through since the ones I got are coming with wires. And I did get new lights too. I opted to go with regular lights, not LED, because it'd be a small fortune to replace all these with LED lights. But uh, if that's something you want to do, you know, more power to you, definitely. I'm just going to do the regular lights in the new housings. But that's how you pull these out. We'll go ahead and do the other side. And then we'll start on the fronts. Make sure you save your bolts and nuts. There's that side. Alright, so, alright, we'll go ahead and pull the bumper lights, the corner lights, and the headlights, as well as the grill. 
so all of those will be going. Let's we'll start with the bumper lights. They're rather simple. There's one Phillips head screw on the end here, and then you're going to kind of work it out and pull the light out once you get it freed up. Um, all of these, the lights are going to be easier accessible as you pull them out. You can pull the battery and reach the lights behind there. You still need to pull this one out to be able to reach that light. Um, for this one, you can reach the lights from back there. Um, but again, it's most of them are going to be easier if you just pull them out first. your light right here there's a clip right here that you can either pull that clip off or you can twist the light and pull it out that way which is what I'm gonna do I'm currently gonna leave all the lights in there so I know which ones I'm replacing as I put the new housings in So for the headlights, you're going to have to pull the grill out anyway. Um, there's one Phillips head screw right here in the middle. And then it's held in with two 10 millimeter bolts. And there's a couple clips in the back. Uh, for the lights, there's a Phillips head screw on either corner. Go ahead and pull those out too. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts here. And on the headlights, there's two 10 millimeter bolts on the inside, so we need to pull these side lights first. So I'm just gonna pull the three Phillips first. There's one right here in the middle, and then there's one in each corner. can't see this one I'm sorry see if I can show you guys these clips these are kind of hard to show on camera but there's one clip there you're gonna spread that apart as you pull and then there's another one on the other side this one you can see a little bit easier but you're gonna spread that spread these two tips apart as you pull on it, it might be easier with a screwdriver so if you're trying to reuse these parts, definitely be careful. You don't want to break them. I'm not too concerned because I'm replacing it all, but I'll try to get it out without breaking it just so you can see that it is possible. Again, you just kind of want to spread these two clips apart as you're pulling on it. And there's one. I know it sounds horrible, of course. Plastic always does. two tabs apart and pull it out I don't have the headlights yet but I'll show you guys the new grill so that's going to be the replacement for that one okay so now you've got your headlights opened up um, there's actually three bolts holding this headlight down there's going to be two bolts back here and there's one here but first we have to get this corner light out 
and that's where those Phillips head sc screws were. Um, so once you got that out, you can start working on getting this out, which is kind of difficult. You can use this tab a little bit to push on it. Um, you might see me struggle with that a little bit, but it's going to be the same on this side. There's one Phillips screw that's over here too. This can be a little bit difficult. You might struggle a little bit, but it's doable. So I'll just kind of try to peel it there and then pull it out. And again, same thing with the lights. You can either push on this tab here and pull the electrical connector out, or you can twist and pull. I'm going to be replacing the lights anyway, and like I said, I'm going to leave the lights in so I know which one's which. Same thing on this side. Just kind of working free here. Pull. Twist and pull. Alright, and then you can see that opens up access to the two nuts that we need to take off to pull these lights. So you've got two nuts and then a bolt. They're all 10 millimeter. Out. It has to go as you're pulling, you need to scoot over to the left a little bit to get these studs out of the holes here, and then that gives you access to the light bulbs in the back. So, again, same thing, and these also have clips. These ones you pull on this little tab right here as you pull it off. Um, same thing on this side. He'll pull on this little tab. Be really careful not to break these um, They get pretty fragile and they're easy to break again for now I'm just gonna do the twist and pull on the lights So I know which one's which When I reinstall the new ones If you're reusing your lights, I wouldn't recommend setting them in there. I'd, I'd take them out and put them somewhere safe. Alright, there it is with all the lights out and the grill out. And uh, I'll be getting the new lights soon. So we'll be putting those in here real shortly.